Oh my goodness, guys. Let me know if you can hear me. <laughs> ah, that's the worst. The worst. I am! I'm live! I'm alive! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The, the power just went out and I didn't know... I didn't know if it was coming back on, but we're good. We're fine. Um, let me just like finish like setting everything up again and uh, and then we'll continue. Okay. I have to send out a tweet just to let everybody know that we're back. So sorry guys. And we lost a bit of work too. <laughs> so oh, let's see if we can like speed sculpt, right? That's okay. It's totally fine. And one quick uh update on Instagram and then we'll be good to go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. At least I saved once. I know, right? At least I saved once. Yeah, that's like that's like the kind of the, the crummy thing. I, I got like really bad luck when it comes to when it comes to like these power outages and things like that like it just it always happens to me and I don't know why like it just kind of ah ah why me <laughs> one more thing to update I just gotta update phone Mm -mm -mm. All right, and that should be good. What time is it right now? It is 9, 9.46. So, uh, yeah, what we were talking about before this went under, I can't remember. Sorry guys, I have like a clock that tells me when I can get off, but it is plugged into the wall, so <laughs> this is super professional, I know. I'm so sorry. Wondering, do I do my own UV in topology when working in studios? Uh, typically yes, but I have a special case where I'm working right now where I am more, more or less a uh, concept sculptor. Uh, so it, the roles are a little bit different where I am currently. Um, uh, I actually do, uh, sculpting. And so like now that I'm done with a lot of the sculpting, what ends up happening is I have gone on to, uh, what's it called? Uh, look dev and surfacing work. So because I've gone on to surfacing, um, I do UVs because I'm in surfacing, right? So I actually, for the current position that I'm in, I actually skip the whole uh, topology aspect of it. I don't actually do any topology. But in my previous jobs, yes, as a modeler, I would do topology. But UVs in animation have typically, from my experience anyways, have been left up to the uh, surfacing artists because they like things a specific way so there's not really much of a point to telling a modeler to do the uh, UVs.
I'm going to try and get back to where I was before uh, this crashed. <laughs> Sorry. You don't like doing topology? I don't mind it. I don't mind uh, topology work. A lot of topology work, though. Like if you're if you're constantly only just retopping things, then that's just really annoying. But it can be uh, cathartic, like or is that how they say it? Cathartic, Cathar cathartic. I don't know. Whatever that word is. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Hey, Lopar, how are you? How, how was your stream yesterday? All right, so before, all right, let's just save this really quick. Oh my gosh, it's ruined, ugh. All right, what I was gonna do before was grab all of these things and lower, just lower it down. Then when this is in perspective, yeah, there we go. Or should it be more? Mm. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Because I'm thinking of I'm thinking of how I'm gonna render this, and I kind of want it to have like be on the ground, and it is pretty like gross and intimidating. Like if you have this thing kind of like with its its uh its head down lower, I just need to <laughs> to get back to where I was. Oops. Sorry guys. <laughs> What do I use to use topology? I use Topo Gun. I actually do it in Maya. Occasionally I do stuff in ZBrush as well, like if it's really simple. <laughs> oh man, yeah. You were doing a waiting stream. I realized that last night. That's okay. Did you get everything done? Country techno. Purchase doing well. Procedural modelers, you need to finish the work on your procedural weight map plugin so you can make non destructive changes in. <laughs> ah, fair. Fair. You're using Snake Hook to make your shape. You use Active Curve Option 2. If yes, which case compared to, in which case compared to Snake Hook? 
Um, yeah, I use AccuCurve if I want to make like really sharp objects because like, so basically right now I'm not using AccuCurve and what that does is it does this, right? It just pulls really fast. As soon as you, uh, as soon as you turn on AccuCurve, it brings it to a really sharp point, which is something I'm actually going to do on like the back part. But right now, just for like pushing things around, I, I use just regular snake hook with no AccuCurve on. Oh, you got the rest blocked out though. A lot of blending, yeah. Yeah, blend blend shapes are kind of like inevitable, especially in the shoulder area. You absolutely need to like unless you're unless you got like some crazy tech behind you. You usually need like some sort of like fix for the shoulder area. Blend shapes. It's common. There it is. There's the hanging sack. The hanging butt sack. That's what we wanted. Or at least that's what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Yes, butt sack. Butt sack. It's what, it's what. It's the scientific term uh, of insects. They're butt sacks. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to like catch up. 
uh, make make uh, make use of lost time because of the sorry the uh, power outage. So if you have any questions, sorry again, uh, drop them in the chat and I will do my best to answer them. Just kind of like again, like try to like just catch up a little bit. Thunder, how's it going? It's good, it's good. You always have crazy tech behind you, but not for the shoulders. <laughs> Fair. Hey, Dry Otter. Hey, Modez. Ah, oh, thanks, Ami. I'm glad you like it. Uh, he never learned of the butt sack. It's okay, that's why I'm here. I'm here to teach you about the butt sacks. Tiny Tina confer- Oh, from Borderlands! Yes! I totally forgot about that. <laughs> What's the anatomy of the hanging butt sack? Um, it's, it's butt sack. That's what it is. It's a, it's a butt. That's a sack. And it's a butt sack. Make up for the power outage. Are you going to record a new intro for next year's Zebra Summit? What? Where is- What? Where is the- No. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> My name's Ashley, and I also stream on Twitch. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitch channel, just go and look below that way. Uh, I'm really bad at like literally everything. Hold on, uh, look, just just you see this over here, right there. Yeah, there we go. That's my intro. That's my intro. It's good, right? Uh, uh, ugh. okay. That's exactly the take that I'm using, 100%. The Automod doesn't mind butt sack, but not butt sack with an S at the very end. <laughs> oh my god. something I forgot to do. Sick. Going to the next Zebra Summit, right? Oh, uh, I, I hope I can. I really hope I can. I couldn't afford it this year, but hopefully next year I'll be able to make the plane trip down. 
because it looks like it was a lot of fun. It was it was also like during Canadian Thanksgiving though, so I couldn't like watch everything online, which kind of like kind of sucked. But I am still catching up with the with the vods. But the presentations were pretty cool this year. Really enjoyed them. I'm pushing these eyeballs in a little bit. Hey, Janice. <laughs> Turning 32 tomorrow. Happy birthday, Lopar. Happy birthday. Is it butt sack or butt sack or butt sack? It can be all three at once. Looks like a dog that needs wings. You wanna fight? <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. If I ever meet you, I'm fighting you. <laughs> so aggressive. Hey, Reggie. Yeah, no, 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 we're all good. We're all good, we got a power back. Feeling all powerful right now. Oh. Something about like this bit right here that I'm just not I'm just not feeling. I feel Yeah, something like that. Not feeling those eyes.
<laughs> Staring into your soul. Yeah. The mantis shrimp's insect cousin. It looks like a lot of things tonight, doesn't it, guys? Sounds like my throat's better. For the most part, I still get a little bit, like, if I keep talking and talking, then I will get a little bit, like, uh, choked up a little bit, so... If I go quiet tonight for extended periods of time, it's because I'm just giving it a rest. So it's butt sack, butt sack, sack sack? It's butt sack, butt sack. No, it's butt, butt sack. No, wait, it's butt, 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 sack, sack, sack. No, wait. It's butt, butt, butt sack, sack, sack. That would be two butt sacks inside of a butt sack. I need to stop saying that. I'm gonna get banned. <laughs> All right, bye, uh, Sangri. I'm glad you could stop by. Have a great night. It looks surprised. It's very surprised. It's surprised to see you. I'm just talking about the anatomy of this uh, particular, particular bug. I mean, and they absolutely do review these streams. <laughs> they absolutely do. So if I'm no longer allowed to stream on Pixel Logic, you know why. <laughs> Low bar, damn it. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you made a good decision. How long did it take for me to learn proper proportions and anatomy? Uh, quite a while. It does take a lot of practice. And anatomy is really, really important. So don't beat yourself up at, over something that might not look right at first. Just keep working on it and eventually you'll get it. It, is, it can be pretty frustrating at first, but Trust me, the more you do, the more it'll just start coming to you, but always work off of reference. Always, always, always work off of reference when you're learning.
<laughs> abdomen sack, basically. <laughs> what? Plastic instead of paper sacks. <laughs> Is there any other creative areas you, I explore as well? Um, I mean, I yeah, I don't know. Uh, I used to, well, I don't know. Uh, I used to do a lot of acrylic painting. I don't do it anymore because art supplies are expensive. They're really expensive. These four, like, just getting like four like generic brand markers, it's like $4 each. Five dollars, like a marker, and like it's just, it's insane. Like the markup in art stores is crazy. I, I need to find like a wholesale art store or something. <laughs> like a week to learn proper? No, not a week. Definitely not a week. It's gonna take you a little longer than just a week to learn proper proportions and anatomy. <clears throat> Old Jack gets lemon pound cake? Say what? At least 10 days, yeah, I mean, like, come on. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give him uh, some fang, fang action. Kinda wanna... Okay, I'm gonna merge all of these really quick. And I'm gonna change the material. I'm gonna do a color fill of a sort of gray blue. Just fill that. And then go back. And switch over to my standard brush to get the RGB going. Just a little bit of... Actually, I wonder...
<laughs> this looks like some of the funniest face right here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You should check out the other uh, Pixelogic streamers, Ami. There's a lot of like really, really talented people. Actually, check out uh, uh, T.S. Whittleback right after this. Tomas, he is a uh, he he does jewelry making and so you, you're gonna really like him. He's gonna stream like directly after me in an hour and a half. Dang, we only have an hour and a half now. Oh, I wish that power outage didn't happen. Okay, I gotta I gotta go. Speedy Gonzalez here. Oh man. Oh my gosh, Lopar, you don't even have a funny face. Stop that. Stop that. Don't no self depreciation in, in in my chat. I'm the only one that's allowed to do that. I'm wondering if, uh, I think that might just be better just to do something like this. Oops. Feeling better for the most part, yeah, but I'm a little bit quiet um, right now because my throat is feeling a little bit scratchy because I did a little bit of talking. But if you have any questions, please ask. Ask away. Ask, ask, ask. Usually I feel like the, the 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 dead space with something to say, but you can even you can hear you can hear that I have a little bit of like a messed up throat still. <clears throat> Save this real quick because what if we had another power outage? Ha, ha. Please no. I'm splitting this off just to get a little bit more definition in uh, in this area here. Just gotta just get that all get out of here. Just get out of here. You close holes. Don't need none of that.
<laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, uh, Cam, earlier we had a power outage, <laughs> but we're good now. I can do it. <laughs> Has to put the two streams back together. Usually they do like a part one and then a part two uh, it, on YouTube. Face cup holder. <laughs> You are what I what you eat, and you, I ate an entire pony, so I'm a little horse. Thanks, Lovar. Thanks for the out. <laughs> What's a 3D widget, Daniel? That's in uh, 4R8. If you upgrade ZBrush, then you get the uh, Gizmo. It's called the Gizmo, and uh, it's basically the same thing as you have in other 3D packages. Just use it the same way, the rotation device. Hey, Imaginator. What's up? Is this the default UI setup? No, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is mine. You gotta eat an artist. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Lubix. <laughs> oh. Hey, Lubix, how's it going? I want this to be there, but it's just not, like, the, the look of it is just not working for me. I want this hang. Ah, there we go. Maybe, maybe that'll be better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. Okay. 
So now that we have all that, what can we start doing? Put in a round. Oops. Just so I can properly see what I'm doing. I want to make sure that all of this is right where I want it to be. using clay tubes for limbs. Clay tubes for limbs? You mean, you mean building up clay tubes uh, for limbs? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm repeating that a lot. You mean like the, the just like adding onto it sort of a thing? Cause like you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to like pull out limbs or anything if that's what you're talking about. But like adding on, yeah, like you could totally do that. Like in terms of like, creating like some sort of like a, a nasty pattern and stuff. I, and I've done that quite a few times, like for, for things like bones and stuff like that, or scales, uh, clay tubes is really good to create like, like that kind of um, a layered effect. But if you wanna like make a limb straight from the body and you just keep, no, like you, you shouldn't use clay tubes for that. But you can do it like what I'm doing right here and just kind of uh, make a layered like nasty effect. In the light box, there is a uh, thing called slash. Slash two. And it gives like this really like strong impression. I just turned the intensity down a little bit, but then you get like something really sharp. It's a lot of fun to play around, uh, play around with in terms of getting like layers of stuff. Yeah, Austin, it is. <laughs> oh, Waspiter. Any recommend, recommended influence for your sense of aesthetic balance, or is that something developed over time? It's definitely developed over time. Uh, your aesthetic comes from everything that you look at in general. Um, so it's going to always change. Your style will continuously change. But it is, it's definitely something that's developed over time. I don't really like strive to get a specific look for anything. I just kind of want to create and this is what comes out of my head. Um, but if you're trying to emulate a certain look of another artist, like if that's like your task and you, you just really want to like look like another artist and you have to study their stuff. But 
I don't recommend doing that unless it's like something that you absolutely have to do. Like, for example, if you were working on the Alien movies, then you have to like emulate uh, Geiger to be influenced by like Geiger, like heavily influenced, right? But if you're doing your own work, your own style, like you, you shouldn't stress about what your style is or anything like that because the more work that you do for yourself, the more it'll just kind of like happen for you. But the whole thing is the style comes from a doing a lot of work yourself, a lot of personal work and B uh, everything that you've looked at. So if you're looking at a lot of different stuff, a very wide variety, then it will influence uh, overall what that is going to like your art is going to look like in the end. All right, good night, Gary. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your company. Hope you have a good night. And anybody who is uh, dipping out because it is getting late, need to go to bed. Uh, do check out Pixelogic's channel, which is the channel that I'm streaming on currently. There's lots of other really amazing artists on this channel and you will not be disappointed. It's a weekly thing. Every th somebody is uh, live pretty much every single day. So lots of content. Lots of cool people. And if you like me, here's my, my shameless plug. If you like me, uh, you can follow me at uh, on, on Twitch as well at a underscore cubed, which is right there, if you like me. I mean, no hard feelings if you don't. <laughs> okay, there we go. Auto mod. <laughs> Is it okay to post art station? Yeah, absolutely. For some reason, uh, if you, yeah, you can post your art station if you want. For some reason, when I configure your my UI, save it, then store it to start it up the next. Uh, I, mm, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, Tree of Hype, actually. If you're having issues with that, maybe it's the location in which it's saving to. Maybe your, uh, your directories isn't... They're, they're not, uh... Maybe they're not, not... Not going so well. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm, like, I'm having issues, like, brain farting or something. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Um, if you keep having problems with that, maybe like contact uh, Pixlogic support because I'm not exactly sure why why it's doing that. It's gonna be wings. Okay, you definitely want to fight. Like you're just you're just asking for it. You just you <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you, Tomas. I'm gonna fight you real good. Am I an Autodesk spy? <laughs> I'm not an Autodesk spy. What? What? Danny's an Autodesk spy. <laughs> this is the wasp that you mentioned? Oh, interesting. And this is this is your wasp? Nice, nice job. Good work. The wings look pretty low poly. Like are you trying to go for like a low poly kind of look? like an Autodesk spy to out other Autodesk spies. <laughs> Fine, yeah. No, I'm totally an Autodesk spy. 100%. Uh, 100%. Totally. <laughs> no. 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 No.
and telling Danny, okay, fine, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Tell him he's gonna laugh because he's actually the real on an S5. Uh, yep. <laughs> Even if you don't like them in real life, yeah. How are you doing, Rybot? It's been a while. I will cut you. <laughs> uh, if I could hurt- I can't- I can't hurt- I can't even kill fruit flies. Like, I suck. I can't fight anyone. Don't fight me because you will win and it'll be sad. You'll just feel bad. It'll just feel really bad. Oh, low par. Oh, okay, cool. Nice job, Twart. Spider is <laughs> Spider's gonna be holding a bag of candy, right? Is it it's already holding a bag of candy, obviously. <laughs> it's totally it's the it's it's bag of candy is its butt sack. Making arm separations. What up? What up? And uh, if any of you are just like, oh my god, that topology is so ugly. Uh, that's actually kind of the point. Um, the reason why I leave it really ugly like this is because it will, it, it kind of like when you when you dynamesh something that looks really like gross t topologically, you get a lot of like random like weird sort of uh, artifacts that happen. And uh, I embrace those in my uh, in my design. It actually, a lot of the time, it can add to that dirtiness, the uh, ugly, creepy feel. And I just let it, just let it happen. already a little bit higher poly because I was doing that like I was doing that other thing with the two-pronged thing but that's okay it's fine Random is wonderful, I completely agree. All the candy's in the abdomen, you just need to get it out. Ew, butt sack candy! Ew! 
sat in this bottle for Christmas too then, add a little stocking cap. But sack Santa. Ew. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are like the biggest trolls. I'm gonna fight all of you and lose. Save. Save Reno's. <laughs> Rip your ears. Rip everyone's ears. I <laughs> uh, haven't been able to come to stream in a while. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, right? Don't worry. It's all good. Uh, how I sometimes get ref images to stick onto ZBrush but not in the background on a plane. How do you do that? Just stream overlay. No. Uh, texture. Uh, you grab your texture here, like let's say I wanted, I don't know, I want this like crazy hypno-toad thing. Um, and then you, you, you click on the picture and then you say add to spotlight. Boom! There it is. There it is. It's bright and blinding your eyes. Let me believe that now. A living cloud, I think, form as a living cloud, you think form is overrated. <laughs> Drink files, save water, doing that right now. Save. Saving water. You want the button, the hypnotoad button, yes! <laughs> 
<laughs> the slobber, yeah. I, I'm thinking like it's less like slobber, more like uh, like webby kind of stuff. But same sort of idea. Same sort of an idea. But I'm wondering for this thing if I want to. Hmm. Hold on. Actually, let's uh, let's load up a previous sculpt. What was the last one that I did on? That would be the dragon skull. Okay, what about twenty five? What was this one? No, I don't want to do that one. Wondering if I can just kit bash right now. Twenty four. What was this one? This is that weird thing. Nah. Hmm. This one. Nope, don't want that one. Hmm. Oh yeah, we could we could use we could use him. We could technically use this guy. You'd be like, prey? Hold on. It's, uh... Urge visible. Dead on the ground. <laughs> Dead on the ground. Heck yes. Actually, we should probably do it this way. Heck yes. Eat them, eat them bugs. Okay, let's do a split to parts. Do I want to? <laughs> nah, I won't split to parts. We don't need to. We just need to make this believable enough that it's on the ground. So where's my ground? Where's my ground? Ground, ground, ground? Or did I delete it already? No, I didn't. Here it is. Such a violent sculpt. <laughs> it's grabbing it. <laughs> Using it like getting the prey.
wet. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's because it only. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it's annoying. My bad. <laughs> Alright, this should be this should be pretty much like good enough for uh for like just like a general like pose just to get the idea. It's like it's eek, eek, eek. can't focus on there we go. bug. One bug eating another bug. Like some parasite thing? Nah. 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 Chocolate chocolate coating? Ew. Who's off an ice cream? <laughs> yeah, the wings, these are these are made out of uh, out of an alpha. Like you just like create them really quick. So, that's what I did during that stream. Yeah, thanks, Mister. Uh, I have the image loaded up into Spotlight. How do you get it out of the menu? It disabled your brushes after reloading. Okay, so if you want to get rid of that uh, in the brushes menu, down in Samples, when you have Spotlight on, you have to disable Spotlight Projection right here in order to use your brushes because Spotlight Projection, it, like, here, I'll show you what it does. Uh, let me grab my standard brush. Uh, let's get the, let's get the hypno, the hypno thing back, and if I, uh, if I brought this, if I brought this guy over here, and then I, uh, oops, I basically just used my, my standard brush to put, like, basically you're, you're projecting what's on 
what's on here down onto your mesh. So you can put the, the color there and you can basically just like project it like wherever you want. So if I wanted a bullseye right here, I could just kind of do this and then go shift Z and turn it off. And now he has a bullseye on his, uh, on the top of his, his head. So that's why I say disable spotlight projection, unless you want to do something like that. If you want to get rid of the image on the screen, then all you have to do is uh, press Shift-Z and it turns Spotlight Projection off. target on your back. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Uh like that okay let's do let's do some of what I was doing before So that's AccuCurve with Snake Hook. You get those spikes just like that.
<laughs> the Diablo goblins. All right, see you, Ome. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thank you, Shroom. I really appreciate that. You missed AccuCurve? Don't worry, I'm gonna be using lots more AccuCurve. He loves the AccuCurve. Getting in some fiber mesh. Some fiber mesh. Good gravity. Oh, yeah. Get that. Get it. <laughs> All right, good night, Tree of Hope. Have a great night. What's AccuCurve? Uh, AccuCurve is this thing right in brush menu right here. AccuCurve. Curve, AccuCurve. It's a button. You click it, and it's really good to use with uh, Snake Hook. You'll see me using it more. I'll be using it more. Don't you worry. I'm just gonna accept that. Ooh. Ooh. Get that, Harry. Nice and hairy. Actually, oh, I had it in the back there too. My bad. Let me get a new one. Oh, thanks, Blans. That means a lot. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that you enjoy yourself. Really, really glad that you enjoy yourself. And again, I apologize for the uh, the power outage earlier, which sent us backwards. <laughs> but you know, make and do, make and do. Yeah, I like that. Fur is better than wings. <laughs> so you know it's a dog. Oh my gosh. Can you not? <laughs> no, fiber mesh does not print. It does not print. It's not something you want to try and print. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you convert fiber mesh into a poly with enough size be printable. Yeah, well, yeah, if you printed this at like uh, 90 feet by 90 feet, <laughs> you printed each one of these individually, then uh, maybe? <laughs>
kita bumbukan ini should probably save I'm feeling I'm feeling that powder outage coming back I don't want it to come back. I'm so scared. I just hear the generator outside. Like, there's like, like the neighbors have like a generator, and then like whenever it comes on, I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Saverinos! Oof, I already have that. That's because I'm in the wrong place. There we go. Six. Done. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do a shameless plug right now because it's been the total of not very long since I've shamelessly plugged myself. Hello. <laughs> uh, guys, if you're new here and you haven't uh, checked out the Pixelogic channel and the rest of the streamers that are here, you should definitely do that. There's a lot of really, really amazing talent on this channel and uh, they run all throughout the week. So it's like endless content, basically. Like, can't go wrong with that. Uh, and if you like me, for whatever reason you like me, um, I stream on my own channel as well. We do stuff over at my channel, which is right here. So you can catch that if you'd like. Boom, boom, boobity boom. Um, and if you like ZBrush, you do like ZBrush, and you like what you're seeing, and you want, you're like, oh, I want to try that. Well, you're in luck because ZBrush has a 45-day free trial that you're allowed to download for free for 45 days, as in the thing that I just said. <laughs> so feel free. It's all there, right for you. For you, specifically you. 100% yours. 45 days, free. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. All right, so this is AccuCurve. Basically what AccuCurve does is it does this little like spiky thing, right? Um, so I, I like to get little details going with it. Mustache. Yes, he has a mustache now. He's he's uh the devil the devil mustache spider. Do I do freelance? Um yes, I do. I am a freelance artist now. I also work for a studio remotely uh 40 hours a week, but I also take on freelance. Not going to be available for uh, the next month though, as I've got too much work to do. Not really a problem I should complain about, but I'm complaining about it now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I want to kind of get in here and define these a little bit more. Um, get me some of this my cut action. This is the my cut brush. If anybody's wondering what that is, 
can download it for free as well. The Mac Cut series. It's basically just a series of hard surface brushes. Yeah, they are. I really love those. Like, I really like them a lot. <laughs> it makes a uh, makes this whole deal a lot easier, a lot more fun too. I use them for stylized projects actually. Um, they're very useful for uh, cleaning up edges in general. Like, it doesn't necessarily need to be hard surface. It can be organic as well, which I think is pretty sweet. Okay, turn that lazy snap off. Don't don't even lazy snap with me, ZBrush. Lazy Snap is super useful in uh, in other situations, but not this one. This is not where I want. I don't want the Lazy Snap. I just don't want it. Not right now. Probably get some more, some more hair going somewhere else. Maybe like, like right here. Get some hair popping out of here. Give me that. Uh, we could probably get this to poof out more. Mm -mm. The length doesn't need to be as long. Hi Ven, how are you doing? I do, I do always sculpt monsters on this stream. This is uh, this is what I do on this stream. For this segment. It sent you to an ad? Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, hey Bosco, thank you. Seem to be feeling better. Yes. No, I, uh, yeah, besides the, uh, the random the random power outage, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. I don't need to revolve right there. Na, 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 na. Yeah, there we go. Accept that. And I'll grab this. Which is kind of like poof it out a bit. Just giving the spider a blowout. A Hollywood blowout. No big deal. Dogs, can you can you not? <laughs> I only sculpt monsters. No, I I don't. For for a living, I actually work as a uh, character artist for animated feature films. So for a living, I actually make uh, stylized human characters and cute things. Believe it or not, uh, 
There is no only monsters. I don't only sculpt a specific type of thing. I like to branch my- I like to branch out. I like to do different things. Um, I think this is actually something I talked about on my stream last night. About, uh, you know, being put in a box as an artist. I, I just like sculpting in general. I like to sculpt a whole bunch of different things. It doesn't necessarily always have to be a monster. But for this segment, I, uh, I do focus on creature sculpting on the Pixelogic channel. If you're interested in seeing other things, occasionally I will sculpt something uh, cute on my own channel. I can give you an I like uh, a quick uh, example of what I mean. Um, so right here. This is something that I, uh, this is something that I sculpted after an air show. I was just like, uh, kind of like, cause the air shows uh, in Toronto, my old apartment, they would go like directly, like the planes would be directly overhead. And I just got really inspired randomly with some night and I just kind of like quick sculpted this. So this is the kind of stuff that I do for a living is cute kind of things. This is from my Instagram. Um, this is like another example of something a little bit more cute, I guess. Not super cute, but kind of cute. Uh, there are different monsters and stuff, but for the most part, like, you know, it's, I, I try to, I try to branch out, I guess you could say. Um, here's the owl that I did uh, a while back as well. So I do stylize stuff as well, but it's just like, you know, it's just, I do what I want to do when I'm feeling like I want to do it. It's not really, uh, not really like um, like a specific type of artist or anything. I don't like being typecasted or anything like that. I just like making stuff in general. So that's uh, yeah, that's my art. Oh yeah, here's another one too. Another stylized thing. Uh, Eggy from Kingsmen. <laughs> Eggsy. But yeah, that's uh, that's that. That's it. We've only got like a half an hour left here. <laughs> oh man, there's so much more that I want to do on this one too. I think I'll be off a little bit more than I could chew with this uh, concept, especially with the, the power outage that happened. Really threw me off my groove. Dang it. Dang it. Oh well. Let's see what we can do here with the time given. Go and get that Accu Curve. All right, we're doing more Accu Curve. <laughs> Oh, thanks guys. No, I, yeah, thank you. A cute rabbit in your hearth make big cool monsters on many monitors. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't understand your, if you were asking a question or not. My, my bad. Sculpt is for the new Charlotte's Web movie. Yes, absolutely. Kid friendly. That owl is off the hoot. Ah! Lame. 
and it crashes. I'm so sorry, Merix. Hey, is I don't know if you're like joking or not, but this is AccuCurve for the millionth time. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing AccuCurve, guys. I'm doing it. Doing, doing that AccuCurve. Save water, drink files, doing just that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Warm hello from bed from bed. <laughs> Warm hello from not bed. Hi Puria, how are you doing? Tim Burton? Eh, no. <laughs> The stuff I had not seen before was the work I showed. Oh, really? Oh, okay. What song is this? Uh, I just have a uh, chill step playlist, which I can just give you right here. It's a uh, copyright or like, you know, creative commons. So you can dig through that for whatever you like. Whatever you like. So this that I'm using right now is the Slash Brush, which is heck of fun to use, and you can find it in uh, the light box under Slash, under the brushes. I really like using this brush to just like hash out quick uh, looking designs. It's really quick, quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. Now we'll do that.
Do you still have Accu? Yeah, I still have Accu Caravan, so I was doing that. Saberinos! No worries. Uh, Shroom, future reference, if you want to, and, and anybody else, if you want to tag me in chat and make sure that I see your message, just go at uh, A underscore cubed, because that's my username on Twitch. Um, I'm streaming to the Pixelogic channel, I'm not part of Pixelogic. Made progress today on your skull! Nice! Congrats! Bakes are taking so long, you want to be, begin texturing already? Oh, I, I know that feel. <laughs> I know that feel. All right, see you, mister. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great night. Sorry, I'm just trying to finish this up here. Get a little bit more detail in here and then Call it. Let's give it a little bit of texture to these feet. Actually, I could probably put in. I could probably put in a little bit of. Uh, probably get in a bit of like hair into those knuckle areas. I think that would help it. this bit. There we go. get any any of that good juicy hairs and nice hairs hopefully it looks pretty decent oops uh, preview whoa Lovecraft. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, that's, oh, that's gross. That's bad. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it just looked, it just looked hor- like, it just looked really, like, here, let's- Oh! God! He's a sprinkler! <laughs> He's a hair sprinkler! Boy, shave your pits! Shave your pits! gravity and we want this to be a little bit thicker here we'll save this one out as a uh, you know just whatever and we'll accept that too much. Some Rastas. <laughs> Rasta spider. Wonder what comments. <laughs> Thinks logic has when they review these streams. Yeah, they're probably like, why did we, why did we even allow this girl on this channel? <laughs> I know I wouldn't trust me with this channel. We're talking about hair sprinklers and butt sacks today, so I mean, we got pretty far. But nobody really like there were there weren't a lot of questions today, so. Like that's that's really what I'm here for is to like answer questions about workflow. I mean, I, I talk about it too, but there's only so much that I can so much talking that I can do within a four hour period, right? So, if you guys have questions, you should ask. But I don't, yeah. Ugh. Oh, these like hairy knuckles that he has. Heck yes. So gross. Harry, Harry. No, Shogun. Uh, you heard butt sacks. Like the butt sack. Butt sack, right here. Paint the mask where you want the hair. It's backwards. Yeah, it, it, yeah. But I, I kind of like it. I, I actually really, I like, just like, I, I like, I like that. Personally. Thank you. 
right. A little bit more uh, information in this area here. This is a brush that I got from uh, ZBrush Guides. It's completely free. He uh, teaches you how to use these, make these double action brushes as well, which is really, really cool. Recommend checking out ZBrush Guides if you haven't. If you want to learn anything about ZBrush, check out Z Classroom. Full oh, shizzles. Waxing eight legs would be painful. It would. It really would. Question, if roses are red and violets are blue, then what is the greatest 3D sculpting software ever made? <laughs> Am I going to win another Boba Fett if I answer this question? Am I going <laughs> to... Do I get another Boba Fett? It's ZBrush. <laughs> oh, man. Also, Thunder, you need to work on your rhyming. Like that, that ain't poetry, my man. Get out, Barracks. Leave. <laughs> Still has AccuCurve on. Wah. Oh, that's why the focal shift. Okay. I was like, why is this not working as I intend it to work? Mm -hmm. It's because I changed its focal shift of the brush. Tisk tisk, Ashley. Tisk tisk. Wish you were better than this. <laughs> have me guest in your class and see if you can see the concept of gravity and motion in curves wait sorry what what do you what do you mean oh sell the concept of gravity and motion and curves but i think you are though 
anyone know if P Keyshot or Pixlogic owns Keyshot? No, Pixlogic doesn't own Keyshot. Uh, that's Luxian. They have a partnership though, so you can ha you can buy the bridge uh, from ZBrush to Keyshot. All right, so this is definitely something that I would do more of in terms of like finishing this concept up for an illustration, because um, I would like I would I would use this for like an illustration as like I kind of like have that other thing in there. So uh, because uh, Tomas is going to be after me, I'm going to be wrapping up at exactly twelve on the dot. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. My throat is starting to get stupid. Um, yeah, so I might, I might continue a little bit more off stream and then do like a render or something like that. I'm not hundred percent sure, uh, or I'll just go to bed and not be sick. <laughs> that might be the best course of action. Um, yeah, so this is where we got to, uh, if we put on perspective, then, then we get like a little bit better of an idea here. Let's... Where do we want this guy? Where do we want this? Yeah, here. Mmm, juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you guys haven't, uh, sorry, I just realized this is the main screen. Just wanted to put it up there. There you go. He's nice and, he's nice and, nice and cute there. Just nice and cute. Nice and cute. Um, so if you guys haven't followed Pixelogic, please do. Please do. Uh, this is not me being paid to say that or anything. I just genuinely think you can learn a lot from this channel, especially if you're a new, uh, a new artist looking to, you know, pick up ZBrush. Like, this is definitely the place that you want to be to learn it. Uh, there's like a lot of great personalities here too. It's not just, it's not just about like, you know, teaching. It's about having fun. It's about learning. It's, it's, it's about all of it, right? A community basically. So I do recommend, uh, following Pixelogic. They are a great, you know, this is a great community to be in. And, uh, you, you want, you want to have a quick render? Okay. Sorry. Before I finish my, my, uh, my spiel. Mm -mm. Let's get this over here. Okay. So, <clears throat> I mean, that's not like ideal. I could set up like some, like a good render for it, but what else? This is fine, especially since we only have three more minutes. Um, okay, yeah, so that's that's the that's where we got to today. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, Tomas is going to be next in a half an hour. You can uh, be on this stream again. Sorry. Throat. <laughs> you can be on this stream again and catch him doing uh, jewelry work. And he's very skilled in 3D printing and all of that uh, fun stuff. So. You can ask him a whole bunch of questions. He's a very, very talented artist. Um, and uh, if you like me, ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? We're gonna go. We're gonna go on a journey. We're gonna go on a journey. Woo! That's my channel right here. And I stream on my channel every Tuesday at 8 p.m. EST. Um, I'm going to be live on Halloween as well, probably doing uh, silly things instead of sculpting, but normally we do sculpting on the channel, so uh, see you guys there if you wanna, if you wanna hang out. Anyways, uh, did I miss anything? Tomas is next, uh, uh, and then after Tomas is Timothy Rapp tomorrow and Solomon Blair. Solomon Blair! Oh, cool. I gotta catch his stream. Okay. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Um, any day streams coming up? I hope so when I... maybe in November. November, maybe. Okay? Not. Don't hold me to that, though, because I'm super busy. But, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. 
and I will see you around and again I'm sorry about the uh, power outage yada yada okay all right bye bye don't don't go near butt sacks they're bad it's bad hair sprinklers too okay good night mm.